Good evening and welcome to the annual meeting of Redstone Federal Credit Union. We would like to introduce you to the executive staff, your volunteer board of directors and committee members that successfully led your financial cooperative through the past year. Members of the executive staff are Mr. Joseph H. Newberry, Ms. Terry Bentley, Mr. Wayne Sisko, Ms. Jan Bias, Ms. Yvette M. Banks, Ms. Erica Gorman, Mr. Mike Rogers, Ms. Wendy Edmonds, Mr. Keith Green, Mr. Joel Gusky, Mr. Kevin Hall, Mr. Jonathan Kirby, Ms. Diana McCafferty, Mr. Mike Panessi, Ms. Tara Perez, Mr. Mitch Peters, Mr. Raj Prasad, Mr. Steven Simpson, Ms. Lisa Witt. The members of your volunteer board of directors at Redstone Federal Credit Union are Mr. Dave Hargrove, Mr. Charlie Miller, Mr. Richard L. Morris, Ms. Kathleen Leonard, Mr. Steve Fisher, Mr. William Andrews, Ms. Charlene Brueggemann, Mr. Terrence L. Clay Jr., Ms. Dawn Stanley. In addition, we have volunteer committee members who graciously give of their time to serve at Redstone Federal Credit Union. Your committee members are Ms. Linda Bryant, Ms. Sue Clark, Mr. Rick Korn, Mr. Paul Finley, Mr. Rick Hempstead, Mr. Samir Kakar, Mr. Willie Love, Mr. Craig Naudane, Ms. Georgia Fowlery. Thank you to all of our volunteers for your leadership, wisdom, and knowledge. Please join us as the National Anthem is presented. Welcome to tonight's event, the annual meeting of Redstone Federal Credit Union. Please note that this meeting is being recorded. Members attending virtually are in a watch and listen only mode and can participate using the raise hand tool to make and second motions and the polling feature for voting. Now to preside over our annual meeting, please welcome the chair of the board of directors of Redstone Federal Credit Union, Mr. Dave Hargrove. Well, good evening and welcome. On behalf of your volunteer board of directors, we wanna welcome you to the 2023 annual membership meeting of Redstone Federal Credit Union. And now I'm gonna hereby call to order the meeting. Article four, section five of the bylaws specifies that 15 members shall constitute a quorum at an annual meeting, and I declare a quorum present. And I'll appoint again, Mr. Howard Grisham as parliamentarian for this annual meeting. You'll be overseeing our rules of order and procedures for the evening. Copies of the minutes of the 2022 annual meeting, as well as our annual report, were sent via email to registered attendees prior to tonight's meeting. And our board secretary, Ms. Kathleen Leonard, is prepared to present the minutes from last year's meeting 
unless we have a motion to accept the minutes as written. And do I hear a motion and a second to approve the minutes as well as all the reports that are printed in the 2022 annual report? Okay, we have a motion, a second. We do have a motion and a second for members attending virtually. A poll will be sent out on this motion. You'll see that poll on your screen. Please select yes or no and then submit. And as our virtual audience votes for members attending in person, if you're in favor of the motion, you can verbally say aye. And all those opposed? Majority of attendees have responded. Do we have the poll as well? And uh, the motion has carried, so thank you very much. Last July, the board of directors appointed a nominating committee to nominate three candidates for the 2023 board vacancies. The nominees chosen by the nominating committee include Mr. Bill Andrews, Mr. Terrence L. Clay Jr., Mr. Richard Morris. In compliance with our bylaws requirements, the nominating committee filed its report. A notice was posted to the website in October explaining the procedures for nominating by petition as well as other pertinent information. And there were no nominations submitted by petition. And since there were no nominees by petition, I hereby declare the aforementioned nominees are elected by acclamation for three-year terms. Congratulations to these three fine volunteers. And as chair of the board of directors, I wanna thank you for your membership and appreciate the confidence you've placed in us. I wanna thank also our volunteer board and committee members. They oversee the fiduciary and regulatory responsibilities of the credit union. And we really do work as a team to meet the challenges uh, thrust upon us by economic and global conditions. And we, through preparation and planning, we're able to meet those challenges and we work alongside our excellent executive staff to ensure proper systems and resources are in place and used effectively to protect and benefit the membership. We're a financial cooperative, and that means your credit union works best when we all work together. And we encourage you to take the time to review the extensive benefits you have as a member, because when you utilize them, it makes the cooperative stronger. And while we're now a credit union with $7.5 billion in assets and more than 700,000 members, we refuse to rest on those successes. We'll continue to strive to be your go-to provider for high quality financial products and services and to be a good neighbor. And I think you've heard and will hear some compelling evidence tonight. We're indeed not only a high performing cooperative, but also we believe a model for others to emulate. So we're proud of you, we're proud of the cooperative, and before I turn the floor over to your credit union's president and CEO, Joe Newberry, I first wanna recognize and congratulate him on recently receiving what is known as the John W. Dixon Award and a separate award, the Distinguished Service Award, and we'll let him squirm while I compliment him here for a minute. The John W. Dixon Award is given for outstanding contributions to national defense. The Association of the U.S. Army selected Mr. Newberry to receive this national award for what it called selfless service and dedication to the Army and its soldiers. And the Distinguished Service Award is the highest honor the Huntsville-Madison County Chamber of Commerce can bestow to a deserving volunteer in the community. So in addition to his business role, Joe has an extensive record of community service. And I'll just list a few here quickly. American Red Cross, United Way of Madison County, the Rotary Club, U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and the Alabama Constitution Village Foundation. So thank you, Joe, for allowing me the time to tell you about all this and uh, congratulate you and, of course, for that selfless service to our community. And now to Mr. Newberry for his remarks and to address new business this evening. Well, thank you, Dave. It's an honor to receive these re rewards, and I am very proud of our community and, of course, the credit union. 
Thank you for all attending tonight's annual meeting of your financial cooperative, Redstone Federal Credit Union, and thank you for putting your trust in us. You know, despite the ling lingering effects from the pandemic, I am so proud of what the credit union was able to do for our members and community in 2022. Let's take a few minutes to watch a short video highlighting some of our accomplishments. Hi, I'm Sarah, a team member here at Redstone Federal Credit Union. I want to take a couple of minutes to tell you about the great year we've had at Redstone and a few exciting things that are coming up. And you know, when I say we, I mean you, me, and all Redstone members, because this is our credit union. And now, there are almost 750,000 of us. Can you believe that? That's almost three quarters of a million members. That's a whole bunch of people for Redstone to help. Last year, we added almost 46,000 new members. In fact, September was the biggest month ever, almost 7,000 new members. And as members, we're all helping each other, helping save, helping borrow, helping with credit cards, insurance, mortgages, the list goes on. It's no wonder Redstone now has assets of more than seven and a half billion dollars. That's billion with a B. You know, with all this growth, it's a little bit amazing that Redstone still keeps that personal touch, but we do. In fact, we consistently have a 92% member satisfaction rating, well above the national average. The industry thinks so too. 108 straight quarters of a five-star rating from Bauer Financial, a Forbes Best Credit Union in Alabama for the fourth straight year, and named a Best Bank by GoBankingRates.com. That's a lot to be proud of. So how do we keep making people happy? One way is with all of our great products and services. This past year, we added a virtual branch option available through our website, so you can get real live, face-to-face -face friendly service just like visiting a branch. We added video teller capabilities to our mobile branch, so you can chat with us during business hours or use an ATM anytime we're at events. And maybe you noticed you're getting your direct deposit sooner? With early pay, you get your paycheck and your account up to two business days faster than before. There are lots of ways Redstone is giving back to members too. Do you carry a Redstone Visa Signature credit card? I know I sure do. Well, last year, some special promotions gave back in a big way, like a summer promotion that meant 6% cash back on gas. And during the holidays, 3% back on restaurants, groceries, and more. All total, that's more than $12 million cash back. This was such a big hit that we increased our credit card cash back permanently with 5% back for gas and restaurants and doubling the cash back rate to 3% for groceries, discount stores, and more. Even phone and streaming services. Did you buy a house or are you planning to? Well, can you imagine a mortgage with a $1 origination fee? That's what Redstone offered last spring, saving our members more than half a million dollars. And until June, that Redstone mortgage comes with up to a $2,000 gift card for home improvements. And when mortgage rates go down, you save even more. If you refi your new Redstone loan within 40 months, there's no origination fee. That saves you almost 900 bucks right there. Total up all the rebates, cash back, promotions, and loan savings, and we're talking more than $24 million, right back to the members. Now, as much as we love putting cash in our members' pockets, in many ways, it's even more important that we give back to our communities. That's always been one of the things our president, Joe Newberry, has been most proud of. And we have one special story that we'd like for him to share. We really love our student branches in high schools and colleges. And here's a story of how they can literally change lives. I want to tell you about Gabby Nichols. She's a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a college student. Gabby immigrated from Mexico and started attending Calhoun in 2008 to learn English and to get her GED. Almost 10 years later, she went back to Calhoun for her degree in accounting. She worked as a student employee in our Calhoun College branch and was selected Co-op Student of the Year. Today, she is a full-time Redstone Federal employee. Uh, that's my, like, my favorite, my dream job. Um, I have always worked in factories and heavy jobs. So to me, coming to Redstone and get the job, it was like, wow, like a dream. That's an amazing story, and it's just one of many. Redstone created a program called the Road to Financial Empowerment to help those in the community who are seeking housing or in need of financial assistance and education. Credit union employees teach this 12-week course at the Downtown Rescue Mission to help those who need it most. And Redstone Mortgage also has a great relationship with the Huntsville Housing Authority, 
and special programs that are allowing more people to become first-time home buyers. The American dream, right? Our people are great at giving too. The United Way is so important and our employees know that. So much that the United Way has recognized Redstone employees for outstanding support in both North Alabama and Tennessee with more than a quarter million dollars in donations. We like to think we take care of our own here too. And we are very proud that we earn the title as a best place for working parents company. That just shows our employees are family and family is always looking out for one another. So you can see it's been a busy year for Redstone in the community and another busy one to come. We're looking forward to 2023 being even better than last year. As Redstone Federal Credit Union continues to help you live brighter. I'm continually amazed with what your financial cooperative can achieve. And there's so much more to be excited about in 2023. What is the difference between Redstone and a bank? Among other things, it's listening to our members. And in fact, it's one of our cultural beliefs, I hear you. And when we, when we receive feedback about being charged fees, utilizing your cooperative, we listen. And I'm so excited to announce that since January, we have stopped charging some fees. This includes no longer charging a fee when funds are automatically transferred from your savings to cover insufficient funds um, from purchases made from your checking account. And we are no longer charging a fee to replace a debit card or to cash a check if you don't have a checking account. And we will continue to listen to your feedback to understand where we can make changes that will improve our member satisfaction and to help you achieve your financial dreams. In 2023, we'll be growing accessibility for our members with the addition of new locations. The growth in Marshall County over the last 10 years has been unbelievable. We have outgrown our original 2,500 square feet location, which opened in 2012. And this spring, we'll, we'll move to a freestanding building in downtown with over 15,000 square feet of space. It will have the same branch service that you rely on and added drive-through for convenience. Plus, the new location will be home to Redstone Insurance, Redstone Title, Redstone Family Realty. And this summer, our Fortress Boulevard branch in Murfreesboro, Tennessee will relo relocate to Franklin Road, which will provide more accessibility for our members. You know, helping our young people become financial savvy is our one of our passions. This fall, we will bring our schools program to Jackson County when we open our branch within Scottsboro High School, and this will mark our 11th student-run branch. And finally, we're looking at future expansion opportunities in a fourth location in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. All this member growth requires appropriate employee staffing. This past year, we opened a second location in Cummins Research Park for product, service, technology innovations and employee training and merchant services. And we've identified another location in Tennessee for an expanded call center and data center. This growth allows us to better and more quickly serve you. Thank you again for putting your trust in Redstone. We are truly grateful for the, your membership and your continued loyalty. And now to address business this evening, attendees had the opportunity to submit questions prior to meeting tonight. We appreciate the valuable feedback from our members, and in fact, your feedback makes us stronger and better credit union. We received a few questions in advance that I would like to address. A question was submitted regarding the bylaws of Redstone Federal Credit Union. Our bylaws are available on our website for members to review at any time. Simply visit us about us page to view the most recent copy. We were also asked about how the credit union handles fraud and credit card compromises. We continue to monitor our members' accounts for unusual activity. In event fraud is suspected, immediate measures are taken to protect funds. This may include a phone call, a text, a temporary card, usage suspension, and more. Unfortunately, fraudsters will never go away. We maintain communications with the FBI, Visa, our multiple security vendors to stay aware of the latest fraud trends to do our best to protect your accounts. However, even when the best systems are in place, no organization can fully guarantee that fraud or compromises will not happen. 
In the event fraud occurs, we will work with our members one-on-one -on -one to make their accounts whole. We also encourage our members to stay aware of their account activity by assessing online banking and enrolling in card controls for additional layers of customized security alerts and notifications. Again, we appreciate the valuable feedback from our members from which makes us a better and stronger credit union. And now I'd like to return the floor over to Mr. Hargrove to conclude tonight's meeting. Dave. Thank you, Jeff. Great story. And thank you everyone for your in person and on the internet. As we end the meeting, uh, please watch your email for a survey about your experience at the annual meeting and we'll look forward to and appreciate that feedback. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? We have a motion, a second? A motion and a couple of seconds to adjourn. Uh, for members attending virtually, a poll will be sent out on this motion as well to you. You'll see it on your screen. Select yes or no, and then submit. And while the virtual audience votes for members attending in person, if you're in favor of this motion, say aye. And all those opposed, you can say nay. No nays. The majority of attendees have responded. The motion is carried. Again, we really appreciate and thank you for your membership. The meeting's now adjourned. Thank you for attending and have a good evening.